Hello and welcome back to my playthrough of Earthbound. It has been quite a while since the last episode when we first went into this desert area over here trying to find our way and I have sunstroke already. Dang it, Jeff. All right, well, I guess while I take care of this, I'm going to recap stuff that's gone on. Um, okay, well, in the last episode, we made our way over here to this desert. Um, that was quite a long time ago because, as you may know if you followed my Facebook status updates, I went out of town for about 10 days. Um, and then I got back. I recorded, like, one more episode of Pokemon Volt White. And then I got sick with a cold, and I was miserable for a couple days. Um, I'm finally starting to feel better, but you could probably hear that I'm still... Uh, my throat's still a little scratchy. I'm still a tiny bit congested, but the show must go on. I don't want to be any farther behind than I currently am, and someone has sunstroke again. Darn it, Jeff. All right, so this means I must heal again. Or do I have... I don't know if refreshing herbs work, so I'm just going to use healing because that works. Okay, anyway, so yeah, the show must go on. I must catch up. I'm in reasonable enough condition to do voiceover commentary, so here we are. So we finally made it out of that desert, and we're going to make it to Foreside, hopefully. We'll see. Just keep walking right for, right for the moment. Um, oh, there's another tunnel. Okay. Well, this is fun. Sure wish we had a bus like we did before. Ah, that wasn't a very long tunnel, though, so it's not too bad. Okay, so here's a bus stop. Have we made it into Foreside territory? Let's see. Ah, wrong button. Um, what's the map button? There we go. Yeah, so we're here in Foreside, and let's see, we've got some major landmarks here. Hotel, food, department store. I don't know if it's worth resting at the hotel to restore the little PP I had to spend because Jeff decided he had to get sunstroke. So I'm going to wait on that. Um, what did that guy even say? I wasn't even reading it. Let's see. Okay, so Foresight has developed quite a lot recently. Okay, good to know. Um... Okay, so I do I do have my little walkthrough pulled up here because, yeah, it's my cheat sheet. Uh-oh, it's got, like, zombie hippie people again. That guy's not a hippie, but... Hint! Well, but I have free hints over here. I have my little walkthrough pulled up on my screen while I'm doing this. I don't... I'm not, like, consulting it the entire time, but, like, just to guide me in the right direction. Um, no thanks. Yeah, no, no, that's okay. Um, let's see. Ooh, rumors. He made a deal with a pure evil entity in exchange for power. You know, stuff like that. Sounds like a politician. Ooh, a museum, a dinosaur museum. Oh, they're talking about the Runaway 5. Hey, the Runaway 5, my buddies, you know, they, they gave me a lift on their bus and then dropped us off in a haunted place filled with zombies where we got captured. So yeah, they're good friends of mine. I want to check out the museum, though. They've got dinosaurs. What? Oh. Fine. I want to see dinosaurs even if they're not real. Because I love dinosaurs. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I can't even look up and see all of it. That's a shame. Dinosaur bones believed to be from southern Scaraba. Scaraba? Scarabia is what I want to say, but there's no I in there. Don't ask for any details. Our research is continuing. That's a great way of saying we're probably making this up. And oh, it's another photo op. Hooray. All right. Yes, sir. Um, Jeff's not going to be in this picture, I guess. Fuzzy Pickles! Yeah, sorry, Jeff. You're cut out of that picture. It's okay. I think he was kind of shy anyway. Um, what do we got over here? 
Oh, hi, Mr. Spoon. It's a great name for a researcher. Dinosaurs. Huge, aren't they? Well, that's all I've gotten out of my research. Oh, you're... Um... Ooh, unconfirmed reports of dinosaurs. Dinosaurs ate some of the natives there. You mean, like, real dinosaurs? I want that. But, man, you're not a great researcher. You're just like, oh, hey, there's dinosaurs. They're big. They're in Scarabia. And I'm going to call it Scarabia because I don't know how to pronounce it otherwise. And I know Scarabia is not right because there's not the right letters in it, but I'm going to call it Scarabia because I've decided... All right, so so much for that. Um, let's see. Where is the theater? Because someone told me I should go check out the Topola Theater. Um, let's see, what looks like it would be a theater? Over there, down to the... a little bit southeast of where I am, possibly. No, not really. What other building could be a theater? This will be fun. I'm gonna look around. There's department store. Oh, hi, butterfly. I could use you. Excellent. Is this? Oh, no, this is like the mayor's office or something, right? Um. But first, I want to find the theater before I go over to this guy. Yes, I, I'm consulting my walkthrough. Oh my gosh, the car wanted to attack me? Mad taxi. Any... What? What? What is this? I'm just gonna try to get rid of this guy as soon as I can. Um, okay. It looks like one of the anthropomorphic taxis like out of Who Framed Roger Rabbit or something. I don't know. Why is he attacking me? What did I do to him other than, like, get in his way, maybe? I don't... I don't know. Why are you missing? I know why Paula's missing. Her eyes are filled with tears, but... Seriously? Ugh, stop making children cry, you mad taxi. Oh, the mad taxi was totally scrapped. Alright. Well, that was fun. Okay, but yeah, I did cave. I did cave. I consulted my, um... Okay, we're all good. I consulted my walkthrough. I... It's telling me to go to the theater first. That would be great if I knew where the theater was. Um, let me look at the map again. See what else looks like a theater. I don't know. Let's see. There's the hospital. Let's walk down this way. What's this place? Can I read this sign? Oh. Junk shop. Um, not what I'm interested in right now. I have one track mine right now. I will not get distracted. Hmm. Where is this theater? Makes it sound like it's the first thing you encounter. It probably is. Like, the, near, right near the beginning. Oh, there's a cafe. Who's this guy? No one know anything, grr. Monotoli's told he stole everything from me, including my house and land. Weep, weep. They are evil incarnate. Lawyers, policemen, everyone that follows Monotoli. They are his, they're all his toadies. No matter how you fight him, you can't win. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Just leave me here to cry into my cappuccino. Nosy. Sorry, I could have read that with a little more feeling, I suppose, but I was a little thrown off by the fact that he's, like, talking like a gorilla in the beginning. But anyway, I don't know if that's a bit of a translation error or just, like, they're making this guy talk like that. Okay, but sorry, buddy, but I would just really like to know where the theater is. Uh, I'm gonna go back the way I came, I guess, where I first came into town. And hope it was right there all along. Hi, hint man. Do, 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 do. You know, it's like all these important landmarks are marked off on the map. 
except for the one that you actually need to go to first. How about you? Excuse me, sir. Yes, yes. Okay, yes, sir, but can you tell me where the top of the theater is? I suppose you can't. Oh! It's right here! Hooray! And got a butterfly, which is good. Okay, well, here we are. Alright, so let's talk to people. Yeah, sure. Wanna buy a ticket? Fine. I have my tickets ready. Oh, I gotta have to show to him. Here we go. Thanks a lot. Please hurry. The show will be starting at any moment. All right, that is excellent. We're gonna go check out our buddies, the Runaway Five, who left us for dead in Threed. But let me talk to... Ooh, yeah, hi. So, you're a Runaway Five fan, huh? What? Excuse me? No, no. This band owes me a million bucks. Darn it, Runaway Five. Darn it, Runaway Five. Why are you always getting into trouble, and I'm sure you're gonna want us to bail you out like we did last time. Leave it to the ten-year-olds, or however old we are. Ugh. Fine. Guess we have to do some sort of side questing to get them out of a bail. Ooh, I'm Ness. Well, Ness and Paula and Jeff. Yes, let's talk to our good buddies, the Mooch Away Five. I mean, the Runaway Five. Uh, hey, there's five of them again. I thought it. Or the last time they performed, there were only like four of them on stage for some reason, if I remember correctly. Again, we've been cheated by the theater owner. We're stuck here with a phony contract. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure that it's just a coincidence that you're involved in another phony contract again. I think maybe you need to read the fine print of your contracts a little better. J yeah, you definitely are, guys. Uh, yeah. Doo-doo-wop, doo-doo-wop. Yes. To meet Geld- What's this? Geldegard? Geldegard? I'm sorry, i just never seen that word before. Or is it Geldegard? It's probably Geldegard. Or is it Geldegard? Is that the guy's name, or is it his title? Because I don't even know. Geldegard Monatoli. Um, whatever. So, I guess... This hint, though. You'll need our help. I don't exactly know why, it's just a hunch. But my hint is... The hint is, I guess, that we do need to talk to this Monatoli. Oh, but the show's about to start. Have I got a bombshell for you tonight, kids? Ah! What? Kaboom! The Runaway Five, yeah! Three, two, one, go! Oh no, that's right, there's six of them! What the heck? But fine, I'll be quiet. You can listen to this beautiful music. Okay, well, that was a show. How delightful. Um, so, we don't go back in, do we? I guess well, let's talk to them again and see if they say anything different. No, you're gonna say the same thing. Blah, blah, blah. Fine. Anyway. Oh, well. Oh, we have to watch the show. Really? Really? Is this, does this, is this, like, supposed to 
be programmed this way. Like every time I go in there and come out, it starts the show. Is that the way it's supposed to be? There's no way I can skip this thing? I don't think so. Well, hey, we're in for a treat. We're gonna get to watch this show a second time. Okay, actually I decided to cut that for the sake of time. So yeah, I mean, I, I guess they intended on programming it like that so you could see the show again whenever you wanted, but okay, well, that was interesting. Let me just talk to the manager one more time just to see. Um, in case her dialogue changes, but they don't. Um, so I'm thinking about a large sum of gold, which, you know, that guy in the desert told us that if he found any gold, he'd let us know. So, totally got this taken care of, guys. Don't worry, Runway 5. The ten-year-olds, or however old we are, will bail you out again. Eventually. Just guessing. Alright, so where's that Monotoli building? I was just at. I'm gonna go have a bone to pick with this fellow. That's the museum. There it is. I see his name on the front. Um, let's see if we can go up. Hello, babyface. What brings you to the Monotoli building? I'm here to speak with Mr. Monotoli, of course. Hmm, I wonder if I should save here. I know this is kind of like stuff you shouldn't be doing while you're playing, but it might be good just in case I need to restart for some reason. I don't know. Just just to be safe. So I don't have to go through that whole musical number again. Master Pokey. Master Pokey. And really, you think, like, this ten-year-old is ogling you? S sorry, lady, but don't flatter yourself. You look like all pixels to me. Actually, you look like a man, so maybe she, maybe he, she is talking to Paula, for all I know. Oh, hey, it's a thug. Hi, thug. Are you a friend of Master Pokey? It's okay to visit him here, but don't wander around the building. Someone might be suspicious of you and take a pot shot at you with the machine gun. Well, that's lovely. That's a great way to treat children. But let's go and see Master Pokey, if we can. I don't know where he is. Or am I want? Oh, here's our dear, lovely friend Pokey. Oh, this is going to be fun. Ooh la la. This. This is my poor old friend. Ah, what's your name? Pig's butt. No, no. Ness. Oh yeah, they sound the same, don't they? Did you come here to beg me for some money? Ooh la la. Don't you recognize me? I'm Master Pokey. Pokey. Get it? No? I'm now Geldegard Monotoli's partner. I still don't know if it's Geldegard or Geldegard. They both sound stupid. I mean, he sounds like a lovely man. With a lot of power to give me money and don't kill me. And I give him political and economic advice. I heard... There were some ratty-looking kids asking for Mr. Monotoli. Was that you, Ness? This isn't a place for the likes of you. Get out of here now, loser. Today now, no need to get rough with the children, people. I guess at least I should be happy that no one shot me with a machine gun, but look, we're being so slowly escorted out, and we must never show our face around Master Pokey, sure. But... Thankfully, they didn't escort, escort us all the way out of the building, so we can check out this other room. Hmm. Oh, who are you? Did you? Oh, hi, you're Pokey's dad, and your name is Aloysius. That's adorable. Due to my son's success. I don't even remember what voice I gave him, by the way, so I'm just going to make it up. Due to my son's success, I now live the life of a rich man. Every dog has its day. That's the perfect proverb to describe me. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ho 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 ho. Gwa ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. ha. He ha. Ha ha. He he. Ha ha. Ha. Ha ha ha. <coughs> That's how I feel right now. I've been having a cough the past couple days. Um. Alright, Mr. Aloysius Minch. Which is an adorable, rich, 
fellow name, by the way. Um, I wonder if we can check out this elevator. Private elevator, not for operation by the general public. Sorry, so what do we do then? Uh, I guess I gotta go. <sighs> okay, well, ma'am, sir, I'm not staring at your hips, darn it. I don't even know if you're a man or a woman, so I don't know if you're talking to Ness and Jeff or Paula. Fine, thanks. Okay, well, that was fun. I don't know what to do now. You know what we should do when you're feeling down? We should go shopping because the department store is right here. Oh, wait, but first, where's that butterfly? Oh, the butterfly went away, I guess, and he despawned. Temporarily closed? Gwarg! Gwarg, that sounds like... Yeah, it sounds like my reaction to not being able to go shopping. So sad. But, um... I don't know what to do. I guess we have to leave. I mean, I don't think there's anything else to do here in Foreside. Unfortunately. Where's that bus stop? I'm gonna get out of here. Yes, I did look up. That's what I have to do next. But honestly, I mean, like, there's nothing to do here. Nobody's welcoming to these three lovely children who are destined to save the world. Um, I'm going to talk to the bus stop sign. Thank you very much. But I should get off of the street because, yeah. How convenient that the next bus will always come soon. Um, wait, how do I do this again? I have to go in just the right spot. Ah, uh, can I get on this way? This bus goes to Tucson via Threed. It's going to cost six dollars for the lot of ya. Do you want to go? I've been doing like a variation on this like ne tough New Yorker guy accent for the past few guys I've been voice acting. I need to get more ideas. So this is fun. This is just the way we walked. I wonder if the traffic jam is cleared up again. <laughs> oh hey, there's like some mariachi guys over there in the desert. Um, are we going the right way? I don't even know. I don't understand. Oh. Um... No, I think we, yeah, we go up to, yeah, we want to get off here in the desert, because I want to get some sunstroke. Uh. Okay, so this, apparently, we need to go here to the desert. Um, let me check my items. So, I'm told I need some more refreshing herbs. Because, I don't know. I'm just doing what the guide tells me in this case. Um, so let's see. Let me... What do I want to do? I'm sorry, I'm gonna... I mean, this episode is just about to come to a close for now anyway. But, um... I need to... figure out my situation here. I'm gonna store some items. That's what I'm gonna do. Then I'm gonna buy a few more. Buy a few more more relevant items, that is. Alright, yes. So, I have to wait out there in the desert, though, and get sunstroke, which is fun. But I'll be able to go back to that rest area and heal for free, so it won't be too bad. Oh, good. That really was fast this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. I don't think I need the bomb. Um, ba -da -dum, ba -da -dum. I really don't see myself using the rust promoter, so. And one more thing, I guess. <laughs> I'm not totally sure. I mean, Jeff might need all these things. Can I get rid of the bubble gum, actually? Yeah, because I, I don't have bubble monkey anymore, so I don't need that. Alright, so now let's go buy stuff. Says I should buy 
refreshing herbs and picnic lunches, but I have, um... Oh, this is different. These are the equipable items. Um, here we go. I mean, I already have, uh, some... What are those? Peanut cheese bars, so I don't know if I need those. Okay, I can buy one more, and that'll work out money-wise. Um, but let me withdraw some more money. I'm gonna... I'll, I'll just buy two more refreshing... Let me check. Because I have one peanut cheese bar, two, three, and a... Mm, life noodles, four peanut cheese bars. Oh, there's another bomb. Five peanut cheese bars. And one, two, three, four, five refreshing herbs. So, Jeff has two free slots. I'll buy one of each. That sounds fair. I'm gonna withdraw... I think a hundred will cover me almost exactly for what I need and give me two dollars left over. Hopefully, let's... if I did the math in my head correctly. Yeah, it should be because I got 80 plus 24. It will work out very nicely and I'll have two dollars around, which is not a big loss. If I were to, you know, get knocked out or whatever. Okay, so... Oh, I just read now it's telling me to fill all but a few spaces in my inventory. You know what? I don't care. I can use the for sale sign if I need empty inventory spaces. Um, it's also telling me to go back to Tucson and buy ketchup packets, but you know what? No. I am tr not going to do any of that. Oh my gosh, there was money in that present. I'm so glad I checked it even though my inventory was full. Um, but yeah. I'm going to go in a bit of a hurry there. Yeah, this is a slot machine thing. Apparently you can win stuff, but my inventory is full, so I don't care. Sorry, mariachi guys. Um, but anyway, what was, was I saying? Yeah, it's giving me this hint that you should go and buy ketchup packets for this magic truffle item that I have. Which is great and all, it's a great little safety tip, but I am trying to get finished with this. I'm gonna fight all these things. I am trying to, you know, kind of go through this game. Ooh, that coyote thing looks scary. So I better use this. Anyway. Um, desert wolf. Anyway. Ooh, snap. Yeah, okay, so I don't know how, how much of a disadvantage this is going to put me at if I don't put the ketchup packets on the magic truffle. Or whatever. But... Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm reading... As I'm... Sorry, as I'm fighting, I'm, I'm reading this thing. It turns out that it's a way to not spend the magic truffle. That is awesome. So I can keep restoring PP. That is amazing. Okay, that's totally worth it. I'm going back. Sorry. We're going to make this episode just a wee bit longer. Actually, what I might do is just cut to when I'm in Tucson. I'm going to go I'm going to go um go to the bus stop. I'm going to cut to when I'm in Tucson. You can see me buying the ketchup package and all that good stuff. And then um I'll cut back to when I'm here in the desert after that. Okay. So bye. Okay, so finally made it here to Tucson and then finally found the place where I can buy the ketchup packet because apparently there is only one specific guy who sells condiments. So yeah, I had to find that guy. That was fun. Uh, so that took a while. But uh, in the meantime, before I came over here, I managed to rearrange my inventory a little bit, sold a couple things, and I have four inventory slots for Paula, which is good. I'll be able to buy four ketchup packets. So, we're gonna do that. They're nice and cheap, which is nice. Um, here we go. One more. Okay. So now, apparently, the way this trick is supposed to work, I go and I take the magic truffle. Um, she has all the ketchup packets. Paula has all the ketchup packets. Um, 
let's see. I will give the truffle to myself. And I guess that the way that trick works is I rearrange the items. So now I have the ketchup packets and I have the magic truffle at the end. So now apparently if I use them, um, I guess this, this seems to be like a glitch in the game. I don't know. So apparently when I use it, it'll use up the ketchup packet, but not the magic truffle. I don't know this for a fact, but apparently that means I'll get four uses out of this thing. So yeah, that was fun. So now I'm going to head over to the bus stop. I'm going to head back to the desert and we can end this episode properly. All right, so here we are back in the lovely desert. So we're just going to make our way this way and uh, find our way over to the little rest area. Um, because that is where we're going to finish off this episode. Because apparently we have a dungeon coming up and if I am to believe this walk through here, it is the most dangerous and difficult dungeon in the entire game or something along those lines. Something superlative along those lines. So that's going to be fun. And probably going to require an episode in and of itself. So I'll do that. Go this way. Let's see. Don't run into any enemies. Got Sunstroke, which is lovely. Um, I think this is where we need to go. Yeah, down here. Yeah, man, that mine expanded since... Because this is where we left off before, and it was just a little hole. Interessante. So that's probably where we need to go next, I believe. Alright, so let's heal that Sunstroke. I don't know if... I don't think... I'm trying to think if staying, I don't think staying at the, like, a, a, at a healing place like here cures sunstroke, so I'm just using healing and then I'll, I'll heal here to restore the PP, not to mention some of the HP that I lost earlier in the episode. Okay, so that is going to do it for this episode, and in the next episode, like I said, we'll go into that mine, which should be a grand old time. I'm just going to save here, even though I'm going to create a restore point anyway, but, you know, just force of habit. Um, alright. So, I just realized Dad hasn't called us in a while. Oh, that reminds me. Um, I'm not feeling homesick, but I should just call Mom just for the heck of it. Just, just to make sure. Yeah, okay. But I don't know if that, like, sets me back for, like, if, if that, like, sets me back to zero for, like, the little counter for when I get homesick. I don't know for sure. Um, but anyway, just figured I'd do that. All right, so that's been, this has been an episode. So in the next episode, things will start to get a little meatier, hopefully. Um, all right, guys, so if you like this video, please feel free to leave a like. Also, if you'd like to subscribe, you can stay up to date on my latest videos when they come out. Also, if you'd like to follow me on social media, you can follow me on Facebook or Twitter. The links are in the description. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you on the next episode of my Earthbound playthrough.